go ahead and get started. So my name is Ellen Connor. I am the product training specialist here at New Line Interactive. And today I'm going to talk to you about one of our new products called New Line Launch Control. And New Line Launch Control, what this does is it allows for when you are having a meeting for you to specifically select the apps and programs that you use the most and would make it a little bit more convenient for you to be able to access. So right now we are on the screen or the New Line Launch Control. And on the left, you can see we have the time as well as the date. And then in the middle, we have our room apps. And these are the ones that are specifically set by the IT department as the ones that you probably use the most. So here, I can walk in for my meeting, tap on whatever program I need, and then it's going to launch directly to that. And so you can see, I now can open up a Google Doc and start working with it. And when I'm all done, I can save and everything like that normal. But when I exit out, you can see that it's going to take me re right back here. Now, to the right of that, we have the room calendar. And this room calendar, it just has the meetings listed right now. Just really the room is booked. What's nice about that is it doesn't list the name of the calendar invite that you sent there. So it does have a little bit of security there if you have some sensitive information that you don't want shared by someone who's just walking by looking in the room at the, the panel there. So you can see I have a dump, bunch of different meetings set up there. Now this is really just the room calendar again, just people that have appointments in the room. Now, if you do want to customize that and have it set up to your own calendar, it can sync to your Office 365 account. So what you can do is there is a Display Note Launcher app, and you can launch that. And from there, you will scan the QR code that's in the right-hand corner. And when I scan that, you can now see that my name pops up as well as Skype for Business and my OneDrive. And then you can see that I have two appointments today. So it's specifically for my calendar as well. And I also have that on my phone as a rundown as well. Now, since it's tied to my Office 365 account, I can tap on Skype for Business here. And now my phone is asking me for my Skype for Business credentials. So if I log in there, not up on the panel for everyone to see my passwords and such, and it will connect to the server. It looks like we're having some internet issues there, but it will connect to the server and all of my, my account will have logged in there. Now, the since I am connected to my Office 365 account, I can disconnect a couple of different ways. So I can disconnect from my phone with the disconnect button there. I can also sign out, but I also have the ability where if I have my phone in my pocket and I walk away from the new line launch control, due to proximity, it will log me out automatically. So that is a nice feature if I do forget. Now, I also have here, down in the bottom left-hand corner, the settings button. And settings, this is gonna have a passcode. So this is something that IT would have a hold of. I'm gonna be IT in this room today. And here you can see, to start, we have our general settings. So I can change the name of the room, the panel that I'm using there. I can also set it in kiosk mode. And when I set it in kiosk mode, it removes the exit and minimize button in the top right hand corner. So someone that comes in cannot get out. Again, they are really staying at the new line launch control and the apps that are provided there. I also, you can see I can sync it with my own calendar, whatever one I need to use there. Apps, you can see this is where I can add and re remove the shortcuts based on our needs there. Then I can set the pin if I need to, if that needs to be changed. And then as far as updates go, you can manually push those updates with that button there, but you also have the ability to do over the air updates. So 
when you go ahead and launch your new line launch control, it will ask you if you want to update. So it will do that automatically as well. So that is the new line launch control. Again, it's really meant to just make your meetings a little bit quicker and the fact that you're going to have your most used apps and programs readily available. So this kind of concludes the portion of the new line launch control. I am going to go over to my computer and see if we have any questions. Feel free to go ahead and ask those if you have them at this time. The first question I have here is, can this only be put on your onboard computer? This can go on a Windows 10 device, so it does not have to be on the onboard computer. Someone asked if this is included. This does not come included when you purchase a panel. This does have a price tag to it, so please reach out to your New Line sales rep if you're interested in hearing some pricing on it. And then lastly, we were asked, what's the difference between New Line Launch Control and Quick Launch? And Quick Launch is something that we also have another solution. This is by a third party. And this solution, what that does is very similar to New Line Launch Control. We just find that New Line Launch Control is easy to manage for both users and for our IT staff that you have there. All right, so it looks like we do not have any other questions right now, but please feel free if you have any questions on the new line launch control, reach out to your sales rep, or you have my contact information in the bottom right-hand corner, so please reach out to us there. I do wanna let you know that we also have another webinar coming up on September 11th. This will be about the new line device management, where you can control all of the panels in your setting from your essentially your office. You won't have to go and remote into different ones to help out there. So again, that's going to be on September 11th. And if you can find that on the news and events tab on our website, newlineinteractive.com. Thank you for joining me today.